and stuff on the way, ready to go warnish. We go. Yes, guys, this was the original panel and cover of the engine, and sadly, it fell from the table and completely destroyed it. I'm very happy to destroy it because it was not in good condition but when it happened I was very very sad because for me it was a very difficult task to replace and remade but fortunately Frank helped me in this task and we did a better work uh, of uh, rebuilding this uh, part of the boat and just after 20 seconds this cover fell from the table <laughs> But unfortunately, all the cover of the engine fall down from the table and completely <laughs> explodes. This is so, the furniture that explodes when touch the, the ground. I can see here, I completely broken this type of wood. I already, I already glued, but it's not more the same than original, you can see all broken here after that i completely broken this panel you can see here i want the panel glued here and at the end i completely scratch this was just just paint and just uh, uh, warnish but in any case i decide to make all this stuff brand new. Hi guys, welcome back to Power Plant. Another day here and the winter is coming, little more cold, but always a lot to do. So where we are now? We are very well. I did a lot of work in this October. I don't publish too much video because I want to bring to you the complete video don't want to bring to you shot of the video so for this reason i wait to publish the complete video i have a lot to do i want to show you how i install the engine how i install the anchor lid the new uh, handle uh, the scan strut the um, cover of the engine there are a lot of stuff that i'm working in the same time so i prefer to shot and make a finished film for all my work so guys, apologize me and uh, thank you for waiting my new video. So we start in a moment and in this video you will see a lot. My concert in making the new engine cover was to get something like. We know the Korean weights so much, so I decided together with Franco to use a very thin layer of Korean glued in an aluminium honeycomb panel. Uh, the panel that normally are used for construction of helicopters and floor on structures where the weight is very important. We glued the Corian and the result was a success. Lisa. So Isa helped me to find the correct color that match uh, the same that I already installed in Alos on the kitchen and we need to make the same size of the original lid cover. We use the original lid cover as template to prepare all the stuff to glue together. Of course I decided to improve the quality of the looking and make a better solution that was original. So we start to cut the Korean in same size of the original lid. A little bigger because we need to put the frame all around. And here we are, you can see it's a little bigger, but after that we will cut in perfect size. Uh, you can see here the aluminum honeycomb. I use the original lid as template because I need now to cut the aluminum honeycomb and after that I need to glue the accordion. Oh, I have some hair in my eyes, so I take out. Now we we'll cut the aluminium uh, base with the saw, it's very easy. I need to calibrate the accordion that will be glued over the aluminium, 
need 6 mm or 5 mm, we will decide later. And now we start to sand aluminium because the glue, epoxy glue, uh, work well in the scratch surface. Clean the Corian with acetones and we'll be ready to use the 8040 epoxy glue to glue the Corian on the aluminium. 8040, the product that uh, come from Czechy resin in Italy, I think is one of the best epoxy glue that they use in the rebuild of Velos. I use a lot in any single stuff I needed and give me a lot, a lot of fantastic strong result. Yes, I advise you, if you have the possibility to use it, you will not be disappointed. Now I use the spatula to spread all the glue in thin films and after that I check that all is perfect aligned, I use some nylon and after that I put the weight just over the aluminium because we need to get a perfect bonding of both surfaces. It's probably I put 100 kilos over the aluminium, so for sure I have a very very strong bonding. Okay. All is the panel in the Korean is just under the pressure, and we will see tomorrow. And the day after, it's time to take out all the weight and check if the epoxy cure well. Ta da! Yes, it's perfect glued on the Korean. It's a very, very strong, strong connection between the two materials. And now I need to prepare the frame, the frame made by Tick. Franco cut all the size in perfect uh, measure and need also to glue those pieces of Tick all around the panel. Franco did this task because it's very precise. I am quite uh, approximative uh, in the cutting stuff, so I don't want to make a, a mistake. So Franco helped me to do this task. I am a very good man when you need to glue something. I make a perfect job, but when I need to cut some, I can make a disaster, as was before. <laughs> 80 40 is the way a good quantity a very good mixing of uh, orange and white and after that we start to glue all the frame all around the honeycomb to get the surface where i will install the final frame in front of the engine lid you will see soon I use tape on the frame because I need to use some clamps. If you use the, this type of tape, the epoxy doesn't stitch on the clamps and you can take out after that, after the epoxy cured, all the clamps without problem. If you don't do it, you leave there the clamps. It's a quite hard job. You can see in 20 minutes video, I make about two months to do this type of job. I condense all the stuff in 20 minutes, but believe me, so it's quite difficult stuff. But now I'm finished, so I'm very happy. Now it's time to cut perfectly the size of the original lid. Michele now is helping me to cut perfectly and check all is okay. You need to be very professional to do this work. I don't do it. I can cut my finger. 
Michele make a perfect job as normal. The time has come to assemble the new engine cover where the ladder will be screwed to get off and exit from the board. I perfectly reproduced the new cover using the old one as a model or as a template and I glue all the pieces together with epoxy and a screw to make a very strong uh, furniture. I don't want to uh, come back to this world for the next 20 years so I made a very strong uh, stuff. And here we are, my two filed attempts before arriving to the final solution. How to get the anti-roll wrong twice. This is mistake, too short, ta-da! Damn, I need another piece of mahogany to make the long one. So Michele helped me to cut perfectly and reproduce the original one, you can see on the right. So Michele cut. I prepare it, you can see just cut, need to sand, I need to prepare very nice, tidy I need to make the round edge, I need to sand by hand to get uh, a very nice surface because I need to warnish after that. I check the length, I check the same edge, yes, it's more long than the original one. So two hours sanding, ah this is perfect. Very happy looking, beautiful, very nice piece of mahogany. But before I show you the final attempt, I show you Michele helped me to make the frame that I will be screw all around my engine lid cover. I use a long piece of tick because I want to get the same vein of the tick all in the same direction. Here we are, you can see the anti-roll. I need to cut also anti-roll in the same inclination of the lid. I'm very happy because finally I can test if it works well. You can see, yes, yes, it's perfect, correct length of the original. Yes, we need only to make the frame and the job is done. So I prepare all the hole because after that I need to put the screw and after that the mahogany tap. And ta-da! In a moment you will see the second big error. And yes, you can see. I make the mistake how to spend hours to make the piece and after that discover that the piece you make is not very high and you need to make another one. Fuck! How many works? How many hours spent to sand to get a very stupid Guys, things? Now I need to test the cover and all the work I did here because there are some tasks that is very very difficult to do. Okay. So this is the first part. Now. I take out the original tick was here because there was not continuity in the vein of the wood. So I take out the work I already did, fuck off! And now I have a one long piece of tick in the same vein. This is the tick that I will need to be installed, same size was original. But now we need to test the lid cover because the problem is not here, is here. And now you can see the same vein of the tick all around. We need to understand how to to deal with this part here that was not too well done. Here's what I want to do. It's quite perfect. But you can see here, 
this is horrible so I need to go down for about 22 I can have a little less here you can see how will be all the cabin you need only to put the stairs there the steps but 90% is finished so now I need only to get two centimeter more here to cover this uh, stuff and after that I put I sand to varnish same color of the steps there and I think this is okay okay guys the old one the thick one brand new I need to sand here I need to sand here and after that is Perfect. I decided to use the tick to make the anti-roll at the end because I have all the same color all around the lid of the engine and it's more beautiful to see so I have no different type of food altogether and I prefer this solution more easy I will use some uh, oil or tick sealer to prepare everything the tick plug in the same vein are installed with epoxy tomorrow we sand and it's quite finished it's time to get a nice and tidy work so i need to sand all excess of tick that was glued and have a nice and beautiful result sanding 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 It's time now to install the hook that will hold the engine cover in place. I use stainless steel hook. I try which is the best position to screw. Finding, prepare the hole and screw the ring. Yes. Okay guys, I fix this one. very fix and now we test the cover we can say job done and this is the result of my new lid But the work is not finished yet. Now you have to bring the Korean of the kitchen and the engine cover at the same height. So you need to send, send, send. Glorious, glorious sending. Yes, yes. Half an hour of sending because Korean is very tough material. But you need to do this one if you won't get a perfect result. Still need to install this uh, block of uh, tick that maintain firmly the cover of the engine in position. At the end I completely reproduce the original lid cover but I use a very modern system and better material that was original. You can see there and there. Now it's time to finally assemble all the steps. We need to make the correct hole. After that I will screw the steps on the engine cover. Michael helped me to do this task because it's very precise, so he say me, you need to do it here. Don't make a mistake, Gabriel. If not, you need to make another one. I kill myself immediately. It's time to check, to drill the holes. 90 degrees, perfectly. Michele do this one because I prefer his hand 
years or years of experience. I don't want to make a mistake just now. I already ruined one. And now it's time to screw the new steps and the result. So guys, all is finished. Finally, I have my cover for the engine, the new stars. I only save in the previous system those two <laughs> steps. And after that is all brand new. I like very well, I show you. I need to cover there, but I already has the new piece here. And all is finished. So now I can say my engine cover is finished. Very beautiful. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Very long video regarding making the cover of the engine and the lid. Quite difficult task and finish. Beautiful, brand new and very happy. If you like my video, remember to leave a thumb up and we'll see you in the next video. Gabriele say to you, ciao!